Welcome back to another devlog for my game, The Sandbox Place on Roblox. I have been working on this project where I basically implement anything that comes to mind, hence the name The Sandbox Place, but also it is a world for you to creatively express yourself because I have added a building system in from the get-go for you to place anything in the world as well. So if you're interested in checking it out, you can click the link in the description to go to the place. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas for it, leave a comment below and I will think about it. Other than that, Today, what we're going to be getting into is the work that I've been doing this past week on this butterfly system. I wanted to give something to the world that makes it feel more alive, so I decided what is better than butterflies? They are beautiful and they flutter around in the world and make it feel very peaceful. So that's what we're going to be showing off in this video. It would be great if you could also subscribe to my channel because then you can always get updates on the progress of the sandbox place. Anyways, let's get into this video. Okay, hello. So I'm going to be going over kind of the process of modeling this butterfly. We started off in Blender just to create a simple butterfly shape. We made the body of it with a cylinder and then after that we started modeling the wings which was just a plane that we shaped into wings using a mirroring plugin. After that we started getting into the texturing. We wanted to start off with a monarch butterfly because it is, I feel like, the iconic butterfly that you would see. But after this update, I'm thinking of adding a few different kinds that can be spawned in the world. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I know you guys are really interested in the process of creating a scatter sequence for making a butterfly move around in the world and so I wanted to kind of go over how I'm doing this on Microsoft Paint. I have not opened up Microsoft Paint in a minute so this is going to be a very funny looking sketch of me using my mouse and trying to explain to you how the scatter sequence works for butterflies. Okay, let's get into the process then. We're going to start off by drawing a butterfly. This butterfly here has a start point and an end point. Our goal is to get the butterfly from the start point to the end point, and by doing this, we are going to be creating a midpoint in between these two points, which we will then get a range around that point and determine a random section of that to offset it. And so now we have three points from point A to the final ending point, and then here, what we're going to do now is basically take those three points that we have here and say, do we have enough space between point A and point B as well as point B and point C? And if we do, then we get a new midpoint between those. So basically we are dividing it in a recursive function and continuing adding different scattering points to it. By doing this, we create a more natural movement for a butterfly to get from its start point to its end point. And that's how the scatter sequence works. Also made this cool little debug where you can generate a visual path for each butterfly and so you can see how cool it is where it creates a sequence and starts going about and it kind of looks like lightning so I feel like I could use this if I ever want to do something with the weather. Just a thought. Hey y'all! So I'm going to be going over the implementation of the butterfly object. So when you create a butterfly, you then want to spawn it by giving it a position and a place where it lives, its parent, in the workspace. Then after we create the new butterfly, we initialize its animation. And we do that down here by basically just passing through all of the animations in this folder here. Right now we only have fly, but it'd be cool to have an idle animation so that it's not like always fluttering super harshly. And then we also just have the play animation and stop animation function here. Here it's where we generate a path for the butterfly, which is a recursive function. 
and it gets the next point in between all of the other points in the path and then it offsets it by a little bit to kind of create that scatter effect and then we also have a travel to function where the path is generated and if we have the bug mode on then it will generate the visual path the little lightning strikes that you see in the game and then here is our move function which is basically just a tweening function that gets the butterfly from point A to point B. And if it reaches its destination, then we return true so that it can get to the next point in the scatter sequence. We have an update state function so that we can change between traveling and idle. Finally, we have this update function, which basically just updates the butterfly on heartbeat from run service. And that's how the butterfly object works. Anyways, thank you all for joining me on today's dev vlog for the sandbox place. I think next time I want to start adding more things into the building system for you to mess around with. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments and I will build them. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and have a lovely day. Goodbye.